Hello Galactic Family. It seems to me that human beings feel that being themselves is not enough. Why do most people have such a compulsion to achieve power and prestige, rather than just be simple humans? This is a complicated issue. It has two sides, and both have to be understood. First, you have never been accepted by the parents, teachers, neighbors and society as you are. Everyone tried to change it, make it better. All pointed out the flaws, mistakes, mistakes, weaknesses and fragilities that all human beings are subject to have. Nobody praised her beauty, her intelligence. One praised his greatness. Just the fact of being alive is already a gift, but no one ever said to be grateful to existence. On the contrary, all were bitter, complaining. Of course, if everything about your life from the beginning will show you that you are not what it should be, it will give you great ideals that you should follow, you should reach your being is never praised. What is praised is your future, if you can become someone respectable, powerful, rich, intellectual, some famous fashion, and not a mere nobody's. The constant conditioning created in you the idea that I am not sufficient as I am, something is missing. And I have to be somewhere else, not here. Not in this place I should be, but somewhere else more high, more powerful, more dominant, more respected and better known. That's half the story, which is ugly, and it should not be. This can simply be removed if people are a bit smarter as mothers, as parents, as teachers. You should not corrupt the children, their self-esteem, acceptance of themselves. They should help them grow. Otherwise, you will be an obstacle to growth. That's the ugly part, but it's the simple part. It can be removed. Because it is very simple and logical realize that you are not responsible for what is, was the nature that did so. Now unnecessarily crying over spilled milk is pure stupidity. But the second part is tremendously important. Even if all these constraints are removed, you are disprogramado that all these ideas are taken from your mind, you'll still feel it is not enough. But this will be a totally different experience. The words are the same, but the experience will be different. You is not enough because it can be more. There will be a matter of becoming famous, respectable, powerful, rich. This is no longer your concern. Your concern will be that your being is just a seed. At birth you are not like a tree. You are born only as a seed and it must grow to the point where it flourish. And this flowering is your contentment, your fulfillment. This flower has nothing to do with power, with money, with politics. It has something to do with you. It is an individual progress. And for that, the other conditioning is an obstacle, a distraction. It is a misuse of the natural desire to grow. Each child is born to grow and become a complete human being, with love, with compassion, with silence. It has become a celebration in itself. It is not a matter of competition, not even a matter of comparison. But the first conditioning distracts because of the need to grow, the need to become more, the need to expand, which is used by society, by vested interests. They distort everything. Fill your mind so that you begin to think that this need is to have money, that means need to be on top every day, in education, in politics. Wherever you are, you must be at the top less than that and you feel you're not doing something well, you feel a deep inferiority complex. All this conditioning produces an inferiority complex because it seeks to make it superior superior to others. He teaches competition, comparison, teaches violence, fight. Teaches that the means do not matter, what matters is the purpose, the success is the goal. 
and this can be easily accomplished because you are born with a need to grow, with a need to be elsewhere. A seed needs to make a long journey to turn into flower. It is a pilgrimage. The need is beautiful. It is given to him by nature. But the company so far has been very clever. It changes, shifts, distorts their natural instincts into something socially useful. These are the two sides that give you the feeling that wherever you are, something is missing. You want to win something, achieve something, become a director, a climber. Now you need to be smart to understand what your natural need and what is social conditioning. Cut social conditioning, it's all crap, so that nature remains pure, unpolluted. And nature is always individualistic. You grow and flourish, and may have many roses. Some may grow up to be daisies. You are not superior because it has roses. It is not less because it has daisies. Both flourished, that's the point. And this flowering brings a deep contentment. All the frustrations, all tensions disappear. A deep peace prevails over you, the peace that passeth understanding. But first you must completely eliminate social crap. Otherwise she distracted.